the flat, ayy. Bumpin' Justin Bieber, but a flavor ain't left, ayy. She know what she need, all I need, all she blessed, ayy. Giving my best, ayy. And welcome to another MX Bikes video. And today, guys, the preview OEMs have dropped for Beta 19. This is going to give you guys a sneak peek at some of the changes that the OEM team is looking to make for the next major update to the bikes. And uh, today, we got two bikes, okay? We got the YZ450, the YZ250. Now, in the pack, there's also a Gas Guys 450 and 250. The reason I'm sticking to the YZ only in this video is so I can have some continuity through my testing with the 450 and 250 being somewhat similar. It's going to be easier to make connections and just kind of describe what I like and I don't like. So that's the reason I'm doing that, but you guys can obviously test the Gas Guys as well if you guys are an OEM supporter. The link to the website's in the description. You have to donate $5. If you've done it once, that means you have access to these preview bikes, okay? So we're going to be testing all the new tire compounds, looking at all the differences of these bikes, just kind of talking about what feels good, what doesn't feel good. Hit that sub button at that like button. Let's have some fun, boys. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're going to be starting on the YZ450. I think I'm just going to stick to the YZ. I'm more familiar with that bike. Um, obviously, there is also the Gas Gas, which I said in the intro is in this preview pack as well. But it's just the Gas Gas, the YZ. You have 450 version, you have 250 version. So we're going to do YZ450 first. And we're going to stick with the default setup, but I do want to talk about the tires real quick. So we're getting four MX tires, two Enduro tires, and we're getting one of each um, for the front tire as well. But obviously the rear, that's like the main focus of this update, okay, is traction. And that's the biggest thing you can feel with the testing I've done so far. You guys are going to notice a difference very quickly with the back end, okay? But you got to stay patient with it, and I'm going to try to do that in this video too. But I want to explain these tires real quick because I learned something today. Now, I've always known that the first number here is the width of the tire, right? So you have 100, 110, and 120. We've had that in the game for I don't know how long, as long as I've played it. And then you have this number here, okay? You have 90, and then you have 80. Now, it doesn't really apply to the 100 and 110 because you just have one option with the 90, but the 120 have two options, and I was confused by this. So I asked the OEM guys exactly what these numbers mean. They give me a full breakdown, but just to summarize it for you guys, the 80 and 90 number right here is the aspect ratio, okay? So 90%, 80%, it's basically how tall the tire is. And so a 90 would be the taller the taller size, um, which is basically better for, for roughness, for bumps. It's more of a cushiony tire. The 80 is better for high-speed tracks. So some of the motocross tracks in this game that don't have deep ruts or massive braking bumps, that's probably what you wanna go for. So I don't think the difference between these two is gonna be massive. I do wanna test it. And then I also wanna test these tires as well. I know the 100 doesn't get used much. Even the 110 on the 450 doesn't get used much. So we're gonna put the timing on these tires and I'm really just going to talk about what I'm feeling, what I like. Then we'll move the 250 and do the same thing. So let's get right into it, boys. All right, but right now we're just sticking to default, which is the rear wheel 120 80. All right, so technically this shouldn't be as good for bumps. Now we are on a pretty bumpy track, but the 80 should give us a little bit more speed around the track. So we're going to see how this feels. We are here at Bud's Creek. Obviously, my video was on this track yesterday, and it is a tough track. It's a hard track, a lot of ruts, lots of bumps. And so we're gonna have to pick our way around this and already I can feel it the back end is slipping and sliding boys now It's not an uncontrollable slide and that's the difference that I'm feeling from past updates and I remember back to beta 17 It just felt like when you lost traction in this game You couldn't bring it back. It was just like this infinite loss of traction once it happened and there was no control but what I love so much about this tire so far is that when it slips, it's easy to bring it back. And it's completely up to you. It's not so much up to Poboso. Now, obviously, there's weird moments, okay? This is MX Bikes. It's, it's almost impossible to create a bike, I think, that just avoids all the weird moments. Now, I tried the A-Kits not too long ago, a few days ago. Those bikes are pretty good at it. Um, I wouldn't say they're very realistic, which, you know, is one of the OEM team's biggest goals is to provide an experience that, that shows realism. So we're, we're probably going to st still see some wonk. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see that in this video at all, but I'm going to really try my best to put these bikes through the stress test and really see what we're dealing with here. Now, I said this, um, you know, when I test A-Kits, you guys got to test these bikes yourselves. You can just listen to what I say. If you're not willing to spend the five bucks at the OEM supporter website to uh, to get access to these preview bikes, that's fine. But um, until you ride these bikes, you really can't make an opinion. And right there, I mean, that corner was slippery on the previous tires. I'm going to be honest. I was sliding down that corner with the tires we currently have on the OEMs. And those tires got grit, boys. So I'm not too surprised there, but we didn't even go down. Like the tires still caught and I could save it there, but... Definitely can feel that loss of traction so far. So we're going to do another lap here. I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker. Also hearing the sound of the drive line of the bike in the air. They kind of added that e-bike sound. 
um, which I think is a pretty cool addition. I don't think it's super annoying. I don't know if people are going to find that annoying or not, but that is another little addition that they've added. And they're going to show you guys exactly what they've done to these bikes on the OEM supporter website. So make sure to read that stuff. Join their Discord and let them know what you think, guys. That's it's very important with the progression of this stuff. Don't just get on it and say, ah, oh, I don't like it. It's over. No, you got to put the time in. You got to test them and you have to give actual feedback. You can't just say they're bad. You can't just say they're good. No, you got to give them something. All right. And that's what I'm doing in this video today. So far, though, I mean, it feels pretty good. I'm not pushing super hard. Obviously, I can feel the slip. But it's not like a super drastic change. I will say the 450 maybe feels a little bit slower. I can't really confirm or deny that accusation that I'm making. I don't 100% know if it's true or not. But just going based off feel, maybe it's a little bit slower. Maybe. About 100% sure. That's something I vouched for. I'm not going to lie. The 450s are pretty quick in this game. Maybe it's just the tire slipping a little bit more. Just that little difference in a straight line is what's changing the speed. But the thing is with this tire is it's, it's not like it's slipping a ton when you're going straight. It's more in the turns, right? When you're running out of knobbies and you're leaning the bike over, you know, you're obviously going to lose that traction. And listen, everyone that's ridden a dirt bike in real life, you know the feeling when you lose the back end. Um, it's a great feeling, and we just haven't really had it in the game recently. So I think this tire feels pretty damn good. There is slip. It's not a ton, though. Like, it's still very controllable. Feels pretty realistic. I mean, you could see there, like, the back tire wasn't wanting to leave that rut because I was sliding a little bit. But if I had better throttle control, like, you can definitely control it. And I feel like I'm going decently fast here. I mean, I ran a 56. That's not an amazing time. It ain't bad, boys. So it feels pretty good. I got to try these other tires, though. All right, so now we're going to hop on the 12090. This should be the taller tire. And should be a little bit more cushiony. So we're going to see if I feel any difference at all. I'm a bit skeptical, so we're going to see. Okay, I can definitely feel a difference in a straight line. This might be placebo. The bike literally feels taller. This might be me just yapping. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. You definitely can't see it with gameplay. It's, it's definitely more of a feel. Ooh. Is it better traction, though? It's actually insane how it doesn't slide out there. Like, you, I, I'm losing traction when I landed that, but I can just... I can actually save it. Like, if you have control over it, it's not just going to buck you off like it used to. I got to keep testing this, though. I do want to do a lap with this just to see. I definitely feel a difference, like, with the way the bike is just sitting on the ground. I don't know. I don't know if it's helping me with control, though. I don't know if it's making it easier to maneuver the bike or harder. It just feels different. It should be better in the bumps. I don't really know. It, it's kind of just a minute difference. Nothing too crazy. I can definitely feel it, but I don't. I don't. I can't really tell you exactly what it's doing. So that's something I have to test more in the future, and obviously you guys are gonna get to test it as well. So I mean, it doesn't feel bad. Damn, I'm. I'm going a little bit too fast. Oh, got these bumps here. Yeah, felt better through those. I guess it's just better for a rougher track. I don't know if I'd say it's better than the 12080, but uh, definitely a little bit of a difference there for sure. All right, now this is where things are going to start to get a little bit interesting. We're going to put the 11090 on the back. Now this tire is going to be a bit thinner, so it should be easier to handle. But I think the, the point at which we slip in these corners is going to be a little bit quicker now. So it should be a little bit less traction. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's go. Let's see what this 110 is talking about. I'm already trying to find the meta. <laughs> nah, I do really want to test this, though. I'm going to try to run a decent lap here. Let's see if we can break my time with the 156 that we ran on the 12080. Which is the default tire, by the way. Oh, yeah, a lot more slip in that corner. But again, it's, it's, it's very controllable. It does happen. You know, I feel like this update is going to lower the, the high speeds that we've had in this game. Oh my god, I slipped out of that rut. So I think the skill gap of speed is going to go down, but I think the skill gap of consistency is going to go up. I think it's going to be harder to be consistent on these tires. And um, I think speed's going to be a bit more even now. So I think that, that'll be interesting as well to see how that goes. So far though, this 110 actually feels pretty good. Yeah, it definitely turns better. I mean, I've definitely felt it in that corner. 
Dude, and whips and scrubs are crazy now. You have so much more slip off the jump face. I feel like people that do 360s, like freestyle guys, are gonna be like, hell yeah. Alright, scrub off this. Can we land that? We can. Yeah, you don't want to get on top of some of these ruts. Really start to slide. You gotta be careful. And I think it's gonna reward that. It's gonna reward the consistency of getting into the rut correctly and staying in it. You can't just ride the top of it um, like people were with the old tires. You can kind of just stay on the top of ruts. With these, you're gonna have to get inside of the rut. All right, you can't you can't really ride the top as much. Another question I have is E-Road with these tires. And I just ran a 151.4 there. That's, guys, that's a pretty good lap. That's only 0.4 seconds off of what my quality time was for the pro race on the previous tires. So, so far, the 110 on the 450 is a very, very, very good tire. All right, now we're going to try the 190. Now, this is going to be the thinnest tire, the tire that's going to be the most maneuverable. But traction's not going to be as... Uh as plentiful so we're gonna have to have good throttle control be be fairly careful through the corners and the ruts but speed we might have a lot of speed with this so we're gonna we're gonna see how it's feeling okay i can already feel it in a straight line oh wow okay, how's it gonna take this corner Pretty good obviously because we do have a rut and the ruts help when tires are slipping you know i'm not getting the full slip feeling and we're gonna feel that more when you go to supercross in this video but in these ruts, I mean, the tire's feeling really good in the 100 so far. Wait a second. This tire might be amazing. If I run a sub-50, that'd actually be crazy. Because that was literally, like, as fast as I could go on the previous bikes. Oh, maybe this is my update. This is when I actually get good at the game. We're jumping down. It just feels so so good when you have it under control i think they worked with the front end and slow physics a little bit as well they dialed that in a little bit more so maybe that's why i'm feeling pretty good in like the slow speed corners but i'm definitely feeling more consistent in those tight ruts just back in there i'm way too high of a gear that could be a pretty good lap though still feeling smooth I'm, i haven't had many crashes in this video Oh, I went over the rut. Oh, I'm so dead. Nope, I'm not dead. Sit down. My lap's still gonna count. Oh, I'm gone. I'd say the 100, I mean, listen, maybe the really good guys can make it work. I don't know if I have enough control for it. I feel like the 110 is a good medium, um, but so far all the, the tires are pretty true to what they're advertised. You know, this tire feels like it's the most agile. I can turn the sharpest. But as far as traction, you're, you're losing a bit of it. And it doesn't have as much traction as the 120. And But the 120, you lose a little bit in the corners. You lose a little bit more of that agility. And so it's, it's kind of more about what you like. And I think that's going to be one of the best parts about this update is it's not just going to be the same guys that are running the 120 every time on the 450 and then the 110 on the 250. I think people can actually experiment with tires now and make things work um, depending on how they, they ride the track and their riding style. All right, guys, we're now on the 250. It's exactly the same with the tires, except the default setup has us on the 190. So that's what we're going to ride. I might experiment a little bit with the tires, maybe switch to a 110, but uh, we're going to make this pretty quick. Then we're going to move over to Supercross. I just kind of want to see how the 250 is feeling. Is it faster? Is, is it slower now? Is it harder to control? Easier? I don't know. Let's, let's see, boys. All right, boys, let's see how it's feeling. This is a bike that I've ridden a decent amount in motocross. It's actually probably my favorite 254 motocross other than the KTM. So we are going to see. I expect the 100 to slip pretty good. The 250 has less power than the 450, and I was kind of controlling it on the 450, so... It shouldn't be too crazy. I can tell you so far, if you do not have throttle control yet, you're going to need to develop throttle control on these bikes. Can't just go wide open. Like I am trying to here, and it's not working. I'm in fourth gear. Third gear make this triple? Oh, barely. A little bit of a case. That's interesting. Alright. Rail this rut. Jump into this corner. Oh my goodness, that's a rider air. I didn't even lose traction there. I just rode the rut way too high. Let's attack this corner. 
All right, I mean, listen, you can still rail, rail corners. Like, it's not... It ain't the most realistic I've ever seen. I do think the fact, though, that I'm finally getting slip in the rear... And that's just, it's not something I, you really feel at all on the current bikes. It's actually pretty damn rare, especially on the 250. The fact that I'm getting it consistently, but it's not massive, you know? It's like this, these just slight little moments where you're losing the back end and you're re-controlling it and then you're losing it again, you're bringing it back. I think it's better. I think it's better than what we had before. I think it's more realistic. Now, obviously it's still MX bikes, so you have to keep that in mind. But uh, a little 156 one there. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to try to push a little bit more on this lap. See if anything weird happens here. If I notice anything important. This. Now, I've never ridden this track on a, the current 250, so. I don't know what a good lap time is. I think I've seen decent players run a low 50. If I can run like a sub 55 on these tires. That'd be a success. I'm in fifth gear right now. W Trojan. I don't know if I should be in third or fourth gear there. I feel like I should be in fourth. I love the way the bike feels on that corner. And that was a corner I was struggling with in the aerial races. But we're pushing it here. Definitely, the bike feels slower on that corner. For sure. So I'm not exactly sure if these bikes have less, less power or not, but... I mean, it kind of feels like they do. I'm also in fifth gear. I don't understand why I'm in fifth gear. I'm gonna be honest. My brain is not messing with the sound mod or something. I think I'm just used to the 450, so I expect the bike to go way faster than it is. I also have to be used to riding it in high RPMs. I'd like to just lug the 450 around. Definitely a bit of a skill show on my part. Just a bit of the back tire there. I, I also want to try to do a start on that 180 and just see what we can do with the back tire. Oh, I lost it there big time. Deserved to, though, because I didn't find a rut. There you go, a little 154.4. Not a bad time on a 250. First time on this track on a 250, so... I'm going to try out this flat corner here a couple times that we can do, and then we're going to move to Supercross, boys. All right, we're going to check this tire slip here on a flat corner again. We're on the 100 rear, so this tire should, it should come out. Oh, yeah. I definitely wasn't very aggressive there. I really just don't want to tuck the front, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, we got to slip and it was controlled for the most part. I could have definitely done it better and done it tighter, but I mean, it's better than it was before. The tire's actually slipping. It's not doing weird stuff. That's pretty sick. Let's move to Supercross, boys. All right, guys, we're now on Supercross and we are back on the 450. I'm just going to run stock setup. I also ran a couple laps before hitting record because I had not tested the bike on Supercross yet. So I, uh, I wanted to get a little bit familiar with it. So I'm not just dying everywhere and I only ran a couple laps. It uh, wasn't so hard I couldn't play, but I will say you can feel the slip a lot more on Supercross track. And it is a lot more difficult, I will say. Oh my god! Okay, so honestly, I could be wrong about this, but I'm on, again, I'm on the default setup. I feel like if I got a good suspension setting, I'm not sure that's the tires that are making the whoops hard. I feel like it's the tires are adding to it, but if I have a good suspension set up, it'll make it a little bit easier. But listen, I'm an advocate for the whoops to be harder, okay? I've been saying this a lot recently. Whenever I get on Supercross, the whoops are so easy in this game, especially on the current OEMs. So if the whoops are actually that much harder, I am all for that every single day of the week. Now, as far as what I'm feeling with the bike, it feels like in all of these corners, uh, mostly the ones without ruts, you're losing the back tire a little bit. It's this very slight slip. It's not super aggressive and, you know, probably you'll get used to it pretty quickly and not even be able to notice it, but I can definitely feel it. Can I get this quad? Almost there in second gear. I do want to just see if I can hit all the main triples on this 450. Again, my throttle control is not great because I am not used to this and I absolutely love how hard these whoops are. 
absolutely love it. <laughs> if, dude, if whoops stay that hard, even with good suspension, I, I'm in love, boys. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Probably dumb to say that that's why I love the bikes because the whoops are harder, but you actually have to think in whoop sections. If you guys ever played MX Simulator, you know what it's like to have to think in a whoop section. Whoops in that game are impossible. We go for a nice lap here, then we're gonna hop on the 250 and see if that bike can clear some of this stuff. I have a feeling that uh, that's gonna be kind of hard to do, but we are going to see. But definitely more of a challenge here in Supercross than Motocross. Motocross wasn't too bad. Supercross is going to take some skill. You save that? I shouldn't be doing that in the corner anyway, to be honest. But Yep, look at that. If you have throttle control through the whoops, you get through them fine. Like, look. Okay, well, that was... I should be hitting the jump line on those whoops, to be honest. But if you have the throttle control... You can do it, but I think if you're trying to send it through, you can't really do that now. Can we go double, triple? We can triple this. Can we triple this? Yes, we can. Again, default setup. So, if you're seeing me case stuff, I do believe with a nice setup, you can fix this. But just to show it off, guys, Supercross is a lot harder now, so... That, that's the way these bikes, you know, they feel to me. Maybe, maybe you guys have a different opinion. That's why you gotta test them. But now we're gonna hop on the 250 and see if we can even get around this track. All right, guys, we're on the 250 now. And the stock tire is the 100. But I think I'm gonna change to the 110 just to test it out. Okay, I wanna test the tire out that's in between the two. I feel like the 100 would be a little bit too much slip. So we're gonna see how the 110 feels and then I'll judge whether I wanna test the 120 or the 100. Because on the 250, things are gonna be a stretch, guys. So I have a feeling we're gonna have to mess with the tires a little bit. We are gonna see how this feels. Already feels pretty similar to the 450. Okay. Yeah, definitely slippery. I'm feeling the slide. Oh, man. All right. Throttle control. Roll this. Double. Scrub onto the table. Can I get this triple? Oh, my goodness. We cannot get that triple. Interesting. Oh, my Johnny. Now, remember, default setup. So, you know, you might think, oh, it's the tires in the whoops. It's probably the fact they don't have a setup on. Tires are going to play a role. I do think these tires are going to make whoops a little bit harder. But mostly the suspension is not going to like this. Triple in. Ooh, I mean, I basically got it. I just jumped off track. That triple we're not going to get. I'm not going to crash, though, somehow. Even this 110, is it's sliding a lot into these corners. I'm actually kind of surprised. It makes you want to try the 120, but I feel like the 120 will be so slow in a straight line that it might be a bit counterproductive when I'm trying to get triples because I want to hit all like the main common triples on this track just to see if the 250 can do it for you guys. But I do think that's a good test. If these bikes can't get triples in Supercross, I feel like we might have a problem and it's going to get that triple. A little bit of a case, but... I mean, it's only my second time trying to attempt to do it. I did not do a lot of Supercross testing on these bikes, so... Not coming in here with the most juice. That was just a bad whoops entry. Not the bike's fault. I should probably try to hit my jump line through that whoop section, though. Alright, this is what I need to hit. This triple in. Okay, there we go. Now, that was a stretch, though. I did case it a little bit. And we should be able to hit the rest of these triples. We can, but man, is it a stretch on this bike. Holy crap. I don't think a setup would save that. Maybe a gearing change. Um, but I do definitely think third gear is the gear to hit. So, interesting. Very interesting. Now, again, you know, these tracks aren't built for, you know, these tires, right? They didn't build this track saying, all right, we're going to update the tires on August 24th of 2024. No, right? They're, they're, it's meant for the older bikes. So, you do have to keep that in mind. But I am showing that these tracks are still rideable on the 250. Um, now, there is no E-Road, so I don't want to speak too soon. But at least with no E-Road, the bike is getting around and, I mean, clearing the common triples, right? Which is really all we need. 
for the 250. We shouldn't be hitting any quads on the 250, so... Um, now, obviously, as I get used to it as well, you know, I'll, I'll get better. But you can see right there, that was just a bad corner. And I actually want to see if I can hit this triple in, in second gear. Maybe that'll be a little easier. I'm not a big 250 guy, so... Oh, wow. I think that was a little bit easier. It felt fairly similar, like the result. But I didn't get a super good takeoff either. Man, I mean, th these triples on the 2V are a stretch. So I, I don't really know if it's a good or bad thing. I would say it's kind of bad. I don't think these these triples should be super hard on the 250 because I know for a fact the average player is not going to be able to hit any of those triples. I'm just telling you that right now. Not trying to sound cocky. You're just not. I mean, maybe once every five laps if you're lucky. But this triple in is tough and it, it was tough on the previous bikes as well so i can't sit here and act like you know every triple is going to be like that in supercross but i did want to test kind of the the highest on the scale for difficulty just to see if the bike could still do it and it can so it ain't the end of the world all in all though hope you guys get something out of this video and uh basically what i'm saying is you know traction is of the essence now okay it's not as easy to just rail corners and do the things we used to do it's going to be a little bit more about throttle control, uh, being consistent, and we're going to see how this goes, see how it pans out. Uh, I can't wait to, to hear your guys' feedback. Again, you guys got to put the time in on these bikes. You can't just test them for 10 minutes, all right? If I tested them for 10 minutes and made this video, I'd probably be yapping and saying dumb stuff the whole time. I feel like I at least learned something, you know, can actually somewhat ride these bikes, all right? Supercross, it was already hard on 250s. It just got a whole lot harder, boys. It got a whole lot harder.